What's up, friends? We are about to do some hammer painting. This is going to be really fun. Um, but I have the camera on backwards, so um, now I'm going to flip it around like it should have started anyway. So uh, let's flippy that thing around. Huh? Hey, Mr. Bruno. What's up, brother? All right, sorry about that. It's the craziness, man. I dropped my phone and... All right. There we go. Sorry about that dropping thing. There we go. Where am I at? All right, so today, mallet painting. Because it's so much fun. So, um, you know, I've already mixed up my paints, except I got to add a little bit of water in it, but then we're going to... We're going to start smashing. And so I tried something really fun this time. So I used all these tongue depressors as a really fun, like, I had more fun doing this than we might have had doing the painting, but um, who knows. But yeah, we're going to cover this, do a negative, negative space hammer painting thingamajigger. And uh, it's going to be fun. Hey, how are you, Tracy? Says we are waiting for you. Hmm. That's no good. Thanks for stopping by and watching, guys. So, yeah. We're going to cover this canvas here with, with some paint. And then we're going to whack it with a hammer a few times and watch the chaos happening. Hey, Brenda. How are you? Hope y'all are having a good day. So all day today, I've been thinking about um, doing something a little fun and crazy like, well, like I like to do. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I want to hit stuff with the mallet tonight. <laughs> Good. Um, and so, I'm going to cover this bad boy and get a whole lot cover in here. And uh, hey, Marie, how are you? So I had this whole canvas completely leveled before I put these Popsicle 6 tongue depressors. Can't is, hey guys, is everybody having a seeing problem? I'm having a good night tonight, Marie. Hey, Geek Goddess Lily. Awesome. How are you guys? All right, so, uh, you know, covered-ish. Let's cover it a little bit more. We've got extra paint. And this one, the point of this one is just... Oh, it sucks. You're going to make a black man blush. All right, so we got Payne's Gray, a color I made up myself because I had, like, four different bottles and... Um, I didn't know what else to do with them. So um, I was thinking kind of drawing a couple lines and whacking them with the hammer until we're happy with them. Um, so these are, this one is metallic blue from Daler and Rowney um, from their System 3. They were on sale at Hobby Lobby. They're closing them out in my store. So um, I don't know if they're doing that in your store, but closing out is always kind of kind of cool to get stuff on the cheap. Oh, shucks. No, seriously, you guys are the best. It's so much fun doing this, and you know what? And I get to do it with people. I was thinking about that. Somebody asked me, why do you do it on YouTube? And it's totally because, um, it's totally because art seems like such a solo pursuit. I mean, you can talk about it afterwards, but um, it totally feels like a solo pursuit. And so by being able to do this live with you guys and, um, and, uh, and do the videos and answer the questions, it's so much fun. Anyway, uh, so to answer your question, Brandy, do I prep the canvas? Um, most of the time I don't, unless they are very bad. Then I'll stretch and restaple. But the canvases I buy are pre-gestured 
yeah, pre-gessoed. So um, I don't really worry about that too much. I'm going to scoot all this stuff back. Oh, I didn't put silicone in any of this. Well, today is a silicone-free one. Uh, hey, hey, you like these hands. All right, so let's just start whacking. We'll see what we get, and if we don't like it, we'll swipe it off and do it again. Um, lackluster. Let's do it again. Whack them all. Hey, awesome. Ha! Huh, that was awesome! What just happened there? That was amazing! Okay, seriously, I'm gonna have to hire somebody to clean this mess up. It looks like Dexter just happened in here. Did not expect it to see it. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> okay, hold on. Like, uh huh. And then I'd show you my pants, but I don't wanna touch my recording device here. Um, all over the floor, over some of the tools. I totally said, to, told myself, the last, next time I do this, I'm gonna put up like a crime scene thing. Totally forgot. But this is legit right there. I can't wait to get you guys down and see it. And this is no silicone either. So this is just the paint and the flow trawl doing whatever it wants to do. And uh, so, oh my gosh, after what just happened, I gotta find a box lid. How do I even get it on the back of my leg? It wasn't even facing the, the canvas. Box lid! Where are you? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't want it to take too long. So, let's just do this. Okay, that was a weenie one. I need to do it better than that. Okay. Uh. You know what, I totally didn't expect this green to be as prominent on this canvas as it is. Um, I didn't really put that much of it on here. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. And, and, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe a little, we'll tilt. I just want that white to recover a little bit, get us in our, um, like undo our divots. So I'm just tilting it a little bit back and forth to, to help it. You know what? I wanna see if I wasn't worried about adhesion, I would totally spray the canvas with, um, with a Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, my YouTube app just quit. So anyway, back to business. Um, I want more of this color, so I'm going to smash that and hope it goes the rest of the way. And I'm going to have to take a pretty good swing at it, so... Uh... Nice. Uh... So somebody... Camera is on the wall. I know. I know. Oh! Oh! It's pointing the wrong way. Ah, uh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure you guys wanted a shot up my nose. Uh, okay, so um, uh, to be honest, I don't want to mess with this anymore. I like this, so let's let's just mess with this and uh, stop messing with this and kind of um. Man, seriously, sometimes. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. All right, so I'm just trying to close up these divots here. We're, I'm working on that one specifically. <laughs> oh, man. I started reading the comments and I stopped paying attention to how much I was tilting it. Oh, man. So, I've got, guys, I've got, I know, right? Um, 
Yeah, right? So um, this, um, wow, I can say this um, but not actual words. So I've got some things coming from Dick Blick tomorrow. And um, I have an idea on how to do archival pouring on the cheap. And um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to work out. And if it doesn't, I mean, I don't see anyone else doing it. So I'm half worried that... Um, that people aren't doing it because it's a dumb idea. So, um, but I don't want to tell anybody yet because if it works in, I want to be the first person I've seen to do it. I searched all of the YouTubes to do it and, um, and it's all with, hey Sandra, how are you? And so it's all with um, archival stuff and I'm kind of getting a little excited because it's supposed to be here tomorrow. I ordered it before I left on my trip. Totally thought it was going to be there when I got back. It was not. <sighs> I'll cry a river later. All right, so I'm just doing the finishing touches on this one, and then we'll just start whacking it at another one because I made a ton of paint, and when you guys stop watching, then I'm going to stop doing this. <clears throat> uh... Oh, you know what? I don't even have to pick up the stuff off. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. This <laughs> nice. I'm going to set this bad boy aside and it's going to dry ish somewhere. That one's fun. Check out that. And there's no silicone in any of this. I wonder what it would have looked like with silicone. These all reminds me of different kinds of flowers. Ooh. Okay. So this next one, I'm going to use more Payne's Gray and just a touch of blue. And off to the drying rack for this one. All right, that was so much fun. I love it when the paint goes everywhere. All right, so this next one, these are just uh, the US Art Supply um, 10 by 10 canvases. Dude, let's do it. Oh, thank you, Geek Goddess. I totally would have forgotten. Let me do that now right now before I even mess with my canvas anymore. So this, uh, the stuff I bought is a little bit thicker than like the three in one and the, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get it. See, it's almost like a, I don't know if you can tell from, but it's a little more viscous. Oh, well, I normally don't put paint in my white, but it happened tonight or, uh, yeah, 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 like a gel. It works better than the... I have all kinds of silicone right now. I used the, the WD-40 and I sprayed some of that in a bottle and some for dusting the like a flip cup. And I use also use this 3-in-1 garage door lube when the mood strikes. But um, the one I like the most is this gel, even though it's a little bit harder to use. I don't know, I think I just find it fun. But it is, you're right, it is like a gel. So just getting a few pins here. Hey, I gotta grab the right amount first time through. Um, so after I spent all that time leveling my pouring table, I realized I over leveled it in one direction. I know, sometimes you're the uh, cyclomethicone. I heard that is hard to get off the canvas though. Hurts the higher up you go. Dog, don't give it up yet. I thought the higher you go up, like there's the the silicone, the dimethicone, the trimethicone, mm -hmm. the poly, and then whatever else. I heard the higher up you go, the harder it is to get it off. Have you experienced the same thing? Or maybe that's completely new to you? Oh, okay. 
So um, this little cool picture frame thing, I just, I don't even take it and put it all the way on the, on the corner, but I just kind of get a sight level. And these pins, you could always push in a little bit more or a little bit less. So if you're completely off, just push on the corner a little bit and it goes in and boom, you've got a level canvas. And so a lot of times I like to pour and just leave it exactly where it is and not dank with anything. And so I want my paint to stay on it. So if you're like me and you do that, um, you could try one of these. It's fun. It's not fun. It's easy and it works. All right, so back to the thinging, back to the art making. All right, so again, negative space. I want more negative space this time though. So less colors, more, I want, I don't know, flowy, fractally. I was watching Sarah Osborne on the way into work. You know, totally get Yupo in Canada. Um, yes. The brand name is um, Do It With Yupo. Huh. Yeah. All right. So you can totally see where I put silicone in this now. Okay. So it, why am I doing it with this instead of the palette knife? Oh, <laughs> nice. You know what? There's worse people I could sound sound like. That lady is, I, I know it. I'm not. I'm not supposed to love anyone other than my wife, but I think I might love Emery. Don't tell her I said that. It'd be entirely embarrassing. Unless she's watching, which I don't think she would be. Okay, so back to our business. Wow. You know what? There we go. <sighs> Ooh, orange. Hmm. Yes. I don't have any orange made up. You guys would have to, um, you would have to wait for me to make it. Do I got a second on the orange? If I go, if I get a second, I'll make it up real quick. Anybody orange? Yes. All right, Mike, I'll do it a little bit later. Okay. All right. Boom. So this other stuff is, is regular artist paint. This is my crafts paints or uh, house paint. So, um, I do this in a different ratio. All my house paints are one-to-one -one ratio between Floetrol and, oh, <laughs> Rare is awesome. Um, all my house paints are one to one ratio, and all my uh, crafts paints are four to one or five to one. Um, oh no, there's a big old fatty drop. Oh man, I love alcohol ink. I just put them away though. I could get them back out. All right, so um, so I just got. About that much. This is uh, Island Orange, I think is the name. Yeah, Island Orange Valspar. Oh, awesome. Chroma, I'm glad you showed that you came to hang out with us while we're doing this. Ooh, you know what? That's a great idea, Mike. I would love to actually see how the alcohol inks turns out. So let me stir this bad boy up real quick, toss some silicone in it, and then we'll smash, uh, what do you think? Gray. Hey, Charlie Joe, how are you? Before Harvey washes us, so, oh, are you in the, that parakeet, oh man. I love that parakeet. Somebody told me they painted their garage, no, their um, their door, their front door parakeet green. I think that is an awesome, awesome idea. Man. 
So I, um, I guess I didn't, I didn't pay attention when, when I was there. I didn't realize there was a, a thing coming in. Storm. All right. So I'm going to put a touch of water in this gray and in that too. Okay. So yeah, seriously. Have you tried the gold? No. What? All right, so here, here. Before I, before we go ahead and make up a whole bunch of extra things, let's just. Um, wow. All right, and then I love this Payne's gray. So let's. Is Harvey a big one? I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so if you're watching this later on replay, Charlie just said she has plenty of paint to keep her to keep her going and plenty of popsicle sticks just in case she needs to build the ark. All right. So let's see, what else were we gonna do? All right, guys, for the third color, left or right. So this is a metallic blue, and then this one is a, a green turquoise. This one? Let's do this one. The right, wait, dang it. No, blue, oh geez. <laughs> All right, so so blue it is. Oh man, uh, the Payne's gray is already breaking up in this. That's interesting. Both. You're a man that likes his chaos. Maybe I'll only do two spots, and I will do them both. Because if we only do two, then um, it won't be as chaotic. When oh, that would be so beautiful. Yeah, so on the way to work, I was watching um, Sarah Osborne, and you know what? She is awesome. It was Payne's great. Okay, um, <laughs> so here it goes. Where's my trusty rag? This one has been with me through like 35, 40 paintings. One of my supporters sent in a note. She was like, um, well, this, this is to, uh, or you need to put, make a green bad circle now. Yes, I know. You know what? I did bring out this. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, here it is. Okay, let's do this. All right. Oh, I didn't brace this one. Well, that's too late now. I'm gonna. I have pieces of scrap wood. Sorry, I just stopped talking and walked away. <laughs> Grabbing some, um, like a backing for this. It's a little bit. Yeah, I just cleaned, man, it's touch too big. Like I make that canvas. <laughs> All right, smaller chunks. Ah, uh, there we go. That'll be way better. All right, smacking. Wait, here. <laughs> Still, every. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, and my voice just cracked there. That was that was pretty fantastic. Oh my gosh. The simple joy of whacking paint and just causing 
Oh, that was lackluster. Causing havoc in... Oh. Well, that was too much. Yeah, that was clearly too much. Well, I'm gonna sh get you down. I've made a mistake. Yeah, that was, and I think I hit my drying rack and, and me, but that part's fun. Ah, oh, okay. Well, some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Sorry for getting dizzy on this. I'm trying not to move it a whole lot. Okay, seriously. Okay, there's a face. Where's the face? Hmm. Oh, is this the face you're talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, okay. So, back to business. Oh no, this wasn't... My wife's gonna beat me up. Mm. Okay. Other side. Where's the wood on this? Okay, it's right there. Was that... Yes, yes. Dude. You did not ruin this. Frickin' A right, I just did it again. Well. <laughs> okay, this one. I have learned an important lesson and we did this together. We learned this important lesson together. Don't back it with wood. The popsicle sticks is just enough give. Okay, I'll show you what I mean with the popsicle. Nah, I can't show you. The things are already done. Okay, so we've learned valuable lessons today. Um, you did not, dude. You're good. You are good, my friend. Um, yeah, don't use wood blocks. They don't give enough. And the give goes directly to the paint. But lots of like craziness cells in here. Oh, it totally does. That one's kind of fun. I really like that one. Maybe get... Oh, right? Can you buy this one? Dude, you don't want this one. I'm going to rehammer it sometime. Just trying to close up these divots a little bit. <laughs> Shake it right in front of your eyeballs. I'm sure that was fun. Didn't even think it might make people dizzy. But this one was crazy fun. Crazy fun. Crazy. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to go. I got to clean up my... Um... Oops. Dude, I'm going to swipe it first. That is a great idea. Kid, wood, seriously, you've caused enough problems today. Ah. Um, so I gotta clean off my my lighting umbrellas I, um, bef before it dries. And so after I swipe it, I, I gotta get going. Oh, right, it totally looks like a bug splat. <laughs> right. Um. Maybe swipe with a touch of gray in it? Yeah, why not? Just a touch though, like a super thin line. And then, I don't swipe often, like not often at all. So, um, it's like, create, I don't know, it seems like it's, it shouldn't be that hard, but it is. do like these cells that are just instantly popping up. A lot of times I don't like the swipe look, but sometimes. Dude, you do not want to buy this one. I appreciate it. Actually, we'll see how it turns out first. Actually, 
actually I really like this business right here. I'm going to swipe a little bit of this color back up on it and then call that bad boy good. Well, it's actually really fun up close. Just this, the lacing and the cells um, almost drip right on my paint. Dude, you're fine. Yeah, man. Somebody told me that they had better results with uh so there's a fire latch right here and it it turns it into a regular flame compared to like a jet. And they were saying it doing this way opens up the uh it heats up the the paint better because it doesn't interact with so much oxygen and so it gets the Weasel in an orange hat. I gotta find this. Oh, it's completely off the off the frame. I'm sorry, guys. This one sailed up like crazy. Some of them are awesome. This one is a benzen. Mm -hmm. Benzomatic. Yeah, totally. It'll be interesting to see how this develops over the next couple minutes. Oh, me too, Lily. A dog. Oh, this is going to be awesome. It's starting to do one of my favorite things. I love it when it does this right here. See the, like the dark lines in between the light cells? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Guys, thank you for watching. I feel like that was a lot of fun. We had like up moments. We had down moments. We laughed. We cried. Um, Mike ruined a painting. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Mike. Kind of. And um, no, I'm just playing, guys. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad you guys watching. And um, oh, it was my pleasure, Lily. Thank you for spending time with me. All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Finish button, button, finish. Dang it. Oh, so Pam, I just saw this before I went to reach for the, uh, I think you have to hit the, um, next to the subscribe button, you have to hit the bell. And I think when, when you do that, it notifies you every time. Well, it's every time I upload something Um, it'll, it'll notify you. So yeah. All right, guys. Have a great night. Bye.